Hey, welcome back guys. So I want to give you some context as to what we're trying to accomplish and what we're doing so that um, you can understand where, where I'm coming from and you know, with the title of this video and everything. So we have a, a top of the cam carrier here um, for 2.4 and some 2.3s use this cam carrier. And then you can see where the cam or position sensor would be right there. So put the cam in like so. There, just set that in. Get in there straight with one hand. Uh, get the shape of the cam. There we go. Uh, almost there. There we go. Okay. So um, we have the uh, degree wheel out here. That's what this little guy's for. And then we have our pointer here. And um, the idea is to use the degree wheel to figure out where that cam sensor pad starts. And stops so in relationship to the in relationship to the cam because what we're trying to do is and I rubbed this off of a 2.4 cam and uh, we, we cut the, the, the piece out and then you know ground out the center so that it'll lay on a 2.3 cam and um, we can we can use it for a cam position sensor now with all that said let me pull my stool up with all that said, um, this is our 2.3 cam, and this is our sensor pad, and um, we also use the degree wheel to set the position of this on here, and we have it marked uh, somewhere. That's on the other side, actually. There we go. Okay, so we got it marked, and that is scribed with a carbide scribe right I don't know if you can see this, but it's right there, right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to epoxy. We're going to epoxy this pad onto the 2.3 cam. And since we got that, that line there, we used the degree wheel. And uh, we should be able to get that right on the line, epoxy it. Then we, uh, we clamp that overnight. Uh, 24 hours, um, not 23 hours, not 23 and a half hours, but 24 hours for that little guy. So um, after that, we're going to drill a, um, after that, we're going to drill a hole down through here and into the cam. Uh, we'll tap that hole and we're going to countersink that hole. And then we we'll use a flush mount um, screw on that. And then because it's a curved surface on this side and this side, the, the screw head is going to stick up a little bit, but that's okay because we can just knock that off with a file. We're not going to use a grinder. We're going to use a file because I want to go real slow and make sure that I don't make any mistakes. So, um, so the tip here is whenever, you, whenever you're going to epoxy or weld on uh, a cast iron like this, um, you need to get all the all the oil out of the metal. The metal will actually absorb the oil and um, it it soaks into the metal and it protects the metal. Um, this is the same thing you do before you uh, you weld a diff. Um, you, you get in there and, and you use a torch and the torch um, you know heats up the metal but it bakes all the oil out of it. And uh, um, so I want to show you why you want to do this. Now this thing is, is spotlessly clean. And I'll show you my fingers a little bit dirty. We'll take a clean finger here and rub on there. Rub on there real good. And you can see fingers still clean. So this, this cam is clean. And hopefully we're going to capture this on camera. But if we can do this just right, you should be able to see the moisture, the oil in that in that cam just just bake out now I've already done up here where we're gonna put the, the sensor pad and that's what kind of inspired me to do this video and um, we're gonna take our butane torch here and we're trying to do all this with one hand I think I can do it that's it turn it on there we go so locked on all right now hopefully hopefully you're gonna be able to see this getting it it's gonna bake all the all the oil out of that metal and we're gonna try and get a little bit of review over here there we go ready and it 
just chasing that, that moisture. Okay. Time. Get over here a little bit. Let's do a spot over here. Try and get a good view of this. I think the, um, the focus was messed up there because of my hand. Ready? And here we go. You see that it just dries it right out. I think you can see it there a little bit. You can see where it's a little bit a little bit shiny in this side here and it's real dull on this side and that's what we're looking for. So you're gonna chase that the whole way around. You'll see it, it just it'll just chase that that moisture out of there. So um, once you do that, then then you can apply your epoxy and if you're gonna use JB Weld for um, like an engine repair or something, you know, maybe for a lawn tractor or a you know, small engine like a Briggs motor or something, um, go ahead and take the time to uh, just heat it up a little bit. Again, that's all the more you need and I can actually touch that. It's just enough to, the flame is just enough to, to bake out uh, the oil that's in there. Sorry about the bad lighting here. Hopefully you got a little bit, of, you know, a chance to, to see what was going on there. But um, so that's what we're going to do. And um, uh, you want to make sure you st stay tuned because uh, after this thing's done, I'm going to do a short video on uh, how it looks. And um, we're also going to use the feeler gauge to set the, um, the clearance for the pad to the sensor. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe down below. See you next time.